IELTS Musketeer and IELTS On The Go. And, uh, you know, IELTS On The Go is not uh, only about, you know, going to the different cities of Vietnam, but also to many different places across the globe. And today, uh, as you can probably tell from the background, I'm not exactly in, in Vietnam. Uh, I'm somewhere else. I'm actually in Chicago, uh, more specifically the University of Chicago. And uh, the city is amazing. I've been in town for a couple of days. And it's known as the Windy City because, yeah, as you can see, a very strong gale is blowing here. <laughs> I'm not very used to this weather. And no, but uh, not only is it known for, you know, the gruesome weather, but it's also revered for its avant-garde architectural style, as you can see here from uh, the University of Chicago. All the buildings look very, you know, old school. It has like a, it's like a Victorian flair to it, you know, 1917, uh, the 17th century. All right, and um, so uh, this is about like uh, a week away from Christmas and the students in the school are getting ready to go home to their family and I'm trying to catch an interview with uh, a Vietnamese student, a very fascinating Vietnamese student who is also about to leave the university for the Christmas break. So uh, let's go see him, alright? say that the thing that brought me to the States is like, I guess, um, my passion with the, is ideology. Um, I, back when I was applying to schools, I were considering New Zealand, um, um, the Britain, and also, I'm not sure, but then America has always been my um, favorite destination. Well, it's, it's for me as well. Yes. All right, so uh, I heard that uh, Chicago wasn't your first destination, like you were somewhere else. Yes, uh, because uh, even though Yushikawa was my first choice of college, I uh, got into another university prior to my acceptance there here. So I went to, um, I got accepted into the University of Wisconsin in Milwaukee. Okay. So I went there uh, and I was ready to enroll where I received a letter that um, basically accepted me into here and because Yushikawa is like a great school, so uh, I decided to go here. But then I spent quite some time in Milwaukee doing different projects and before I decided to move in. So as, as, as soon as you got like the acceptance letter from the University of Chicago, you were like, this is a no-brainer, I'm going to move to Chicago, right? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Chicago's a big city and also New Chicago's like, um, it's ranked the third in the nation in terms of academic. Um, wow. Yes. All right. And um, so, so you study, uh, what was your major again? Um, I'm thinking of physics. Uh, right now, I am considering adding computer science to it. Okay. Um, computer it's, science. It's, yes. It's still a very general uh, path. I have some specific career paths to go to, but I want to see within the next few years, uh, which is my uh, real interest and passion. Right now, I'm just trying to uh, get um, all my required classes okay. out of the way first before I decide. So, to like the, 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 the general yes, courses? Yes, the, the core requirements, uh, okay. they would say. All right. So, um, I mean, uh, you got a scholarship. Yes, that's true. And uh, could you walk us through, like, how you got the scholarship? So, the scholarship is not, um, it's in a sense, it's not actually a scholarship. It's called the... Um, uh, financial aid of school. So okay. Yushiko is, um, um, is a very generous school, even though it's a private school, but it's belong to that group of uh, universities such as Harvard University or yeah. Stanford or wow. MIT, which is very generous in terms of aid. So um, That's some very yeah. useful information for our viewers. <laughs> yes. The tuition uh, of these institutions generally are around $60,000 a year. Okay. So basically, um, wow. if you uh, get into school, like one of these schools, which specifically belong to this group, yeah. um, they will pay 100% of your need, right. which in this case is um, about 6.5 billion billion dollars in order to cover all the... Uh, <laughs> That's a lot of money. Uh, exactly. Yeah. 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 
and uh, and and you were talking about how this uh, kind of financial aid differs from scholarship. Like, uh, in what specific way is it different? I mean, like, you, you're you supposed to have, like, really good academic achievements, right? Well, um, I would say that, okay, I can I can talk about, I guess, in my financial aid package, there was all, the Yushiko grant, which acts as a, um, a, a technical aid package. I also qualify for this thing called the Odyssey Scholarship. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make us uh, up much of the proportion of the uh, aid package, but it offers a lot of benefits. And it's based a lot on, not on your need, but on your academic rigor and on your extra curricular activities. Sure yeah. So that's um, the Odyssey Scholarship. So it's like, that's the key tier. It doesn't matter how much you need, how much money you need, it's uh, focused on your um, how good you are academically, how good have you expressed yourself uh, okay. to that admission office that you are qualified to be for the scholarship. The okay. financial aid grant is uh, more of, um, you just need to be um, adequate for the school. You just need to show okay. them that you can um, be in this var- environment. You can- uh, Like your personality well. is a good match with the- Yes, and also you culture. can handle the academic workload workload at a school so I'm, I'm sure you have no problems with that <laughs> so that's uh, I guess um, so you just need to get into school yeah. and then after the, the after that they will be because they are very generous they will just look at your financial situation and yeah. decide here's what we're gonna give you okay yeah. and um, so uh, you know are there any difficulties that you have to cope with when uh, when you first moved to Chicago or the states in general, I, I believe so. So uh, this probably is a lot of people have talked about. But one of the things that people generally find difficult is the cultural context, mm. and this cultural context is even more in depth. In that, it's not even about whether you're not used to culture, but it's about the people. When you interact with friends um, on the campus, like who are yeah. born Americans. Naturally, they talk about cultural stuff, and they find common ground through cultural. Yeah. And if you don't necessarily have a sense of that culture, you can sometimes feel left out. Yeah. But it's okay. It's a process that everyone have to go through, and I believe that um, you naturally and eventually you get through that. Yeah. So 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 how did you cope with that? Like, do you watch a lot of movies, or do you ask your friends like, what do you mean about this? I would advise watching a lot of movies and listen to some music, which I regretfully didn't do during my times here. <laughs> um, uh, I so 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 how did you like you know um, get uh, familiar with you know this kind of estranged uh, cultural context? Like how how did you kind of uh, blend um, in? It takes time yeah. and it takes effort. Um, one thing Definitely. I would advise to do is like to go out there and also be more open to ideas and people and um, interact with them on be, be more friendly yeah. while also embracing your traditional culture so that you have a sense of identity yeah. while interacting with these people uh, it's uh, one value that I think America put high emphasis on is to have individualistic features yeah. so I would say that preserve your identity when interacting with these people while also very be very open and not judgmental while you yeah. interact with them but it, it, it takes time, it's yeah, the main thing. It, it, it certainly takes time. Um, the one thing is try not to get down if you don't have, uh, if you don't, are not that successful in making friends in their first few days or few weeks. Yeah. Um, just go out there and join uh, many activities, organizations. And I, I know, know you do. Know. So um, let's talk a little bit about your time like prior to moving to the United States to study. Yes. Um, you know, did you have your parents' support like throughout the application process? Yes. Um, I would say, uh, not exaggerating, that without my parents, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have gone the right path. Uh, part of being the admission is that I didn't know that not what I wanted to do. I didn't know. I didn't choose the United States before I applied to Yushiko. I didn't. I don't know what who I am and what I want to do. Um, it's very confusing as it will be o- eventually okay in the end. But what happened was that my 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 mom my my mother and my father was very supportive. They was not only supporting, they was also giving me very useful and valuable information. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I have to I had to look 
so one thing very important about the admission process is not about it's not even about your academic or your extracurricular activities, but it's about information, like learning, knowing what this exactly means. Yeah. And I have to because my parents have a little knowledge about this uh, type of field. Um, I have to look up the information on my own mostly. But what they essentially do is they they told me to look for it. They they guide me in looking for it and analyzing the information and deciding whether it's uh, valuable or not. They wow. they they help shape the path that I want to go into because I was I was clueless. And so your I, parents were pretty hands on in the in the application process, yes. which which is rare. Yes, I, th- I um, think this is pretty rare. It it is because um, yeah, I think that um, people have help from um, other organizations that are more professional and uh. Uh, specialized in this, but my parents and it's not about me getting here; it's about us getting here. Um, yeah. We didn't know anything. We look it up together, and my fa- my mom will look at a special field that she would like uh, feel more comfortable in. Why I look up at the schools and decide whether the statistic fits me or not. It was a family effort. It 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 was very hard because we had no prior experience, and it was a uh, very busy and a very hard. Yeah. Cured for uh, the family. Yeah, but, but but you were you were just doing your best together, trying to yeah. trying to navigate you know the complexities of of, of the process together. It must have been hard, but 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 I'm sure it it was a lot of fun as well. It was a lot of fun. It yeah. was uh, technically very worthwhile. Yeah. Uh, welcome back, guys. And um, so we're going to talk a little bit more about your application process. Sure. Uh, and I know that there's got to be, you know, something in your application that sets you apart from other applicants. And uh, usually, uh, it's the personal statement where uh, you know your dreams and aspirations and your personality really have to come through and convince the admission officer that you know you're a good match for the university. So you know, um, what do you think about your personal statement? Like, what do you think is the the thing that sets yours apart? Um, I'm not too sure about what set me apart. Um, because yeah. Yushikawa is also very um, different from the other colleges mm-hmm. because they have uh, what is called the uncommon essay. So um, other colleges and university will ask about what is your dream, why do you apply to the school, and what is your majors mm-hmm. and all of that stuff. Uh, Yushikawa will ask a question like five X, yeah. just that. Or like where's Waldo, which requires a lot of cultural context. Yeah, yeah. Also things like let's go back to square one. Um, so I would say that uh, in this particular scenario, uh, one thing that I think set the essay apart is your creativity, your your ability to mold this changing uh, question into something that works to your benefit to express how you who you are. Yushiko is very big on. Uh, it's very it may place a lot of importance on who you are, mm-hmm. finding your identity. Another point that you also touched on was how important the writing skill uh, was to your essay, how, how key it was. And um, I'm interested because you also took the IELTS, right? Yes, I did. Uh, I let's talk about the IELTS a little bit. Like, um, you know, was it required? Because I would assume that if you, you know, go to the States, you know, the TOEFL would be like the de rigueur. Yeah. I don't think that distinction is so important now anymore. It, it, it actually applies to some school like Stanford, which uh, requires the TOEFL. But one thing about the IELTS is the IELTS universal. It's, it goes everywhere. Um, and it, it's a fact in the United States that more and more schools are setting the IELTS at their standard English requirements. And even though I enjoy TOEFL, I, I feel like IELTS speaks to me more. So that's why I, I chose the IELTS. So did you think that writing skills that you acquired from the IELTS writing hmm. test uh, kind of, uh, you know, help you write a better essay for the University of Chicago? What it did was enhancing my ability to think in English and to write in English. Hmm. But essay is also different from one another. The That's essay true. is very useful in that it helps you get with the uh, standardized stuff, get a, what, to know what English, writing English is like. Um, the language, the the language, the style, the standard, what you yeah. expect of the standard form. But one one thing people will learn about the writing is that it's so diverse. Like I would use completely different writing style for my article for the uh, magazine yeah. than to my academic essay for um, 
my hum my humanities class, um, the IELTS is useful in that it provides like a base, a general baseline in order to get yourself have a background and yeah. like use that ground in which you will decide what specialized form of writing you want to go on in the future. Yeah. So so for certain uh, you know for different requirements for different essays you kind of have to deviate from that style a little bit, um, but it, it it provides a very good foundation it in is. terms of like grammar and vocabulary. Um, you know what sort of tone you need to yes. use, right? And um, so, uh, what do you think about the other skills of the IELTS? Uh, have have the t has the test been useful uh, to you? You know, like studying in. A, Personally, in the test has been useful because it was my starting base. I um, I learned English uh, starting my uh, seventh grade. I know a little bit English like hello and chicken before, but uh, yeah, I didn't start until seventh grade, and it wasn't until my ninth grade that I actually go down to actually learning it seriously uh, to apply for English major in high school. Yeah. Um, but the, the the moment that I actually, I guess, get a background of English is when I decide to uh, venture into IELTS. Um, it's a good start. It's like. Um, if you want to go and do a project that involves computer science, you should take some computer science class. People, many people say that we do it on their own, but I have seen a good start. It uh, provides you with the necessary skill, the base skill. You have to work very hard after that. Yeah. But it is a good standard to make yourself on uh, in yeah. terms of reading, writing, and yeah. speaking. Definitely, it gives you, like I, I think, the essential skill sets so you yes. can manage you know, studying abroad and whatnot. So yeah, I think uh, we're approaching the, the end of our interview. Um, you know, is there anything that you would like to say to the viewers uh, of IELTS Face Off? You know, many of whom are um, middle school students and high school students who aspire to study abroad. Um, I would say that one thing I want to tell them about is like um, when I start doing all this during um, the end of my. Uh, secondary school I didn't know what to do I, I had no expectation of myself I didn't and it's okay to not know it's okay not to be on top of your class it's okay not to have uh, a lot of social activities uh, it's okay to not know where to start and also not know where you want to end up but it's very important to have patience it's important to have perseverance it's important mostly important to get started because yeah. just do it and you, you yes. learn as you go yes you fix your mistakes as you go. The important thing, final important thing is to get started. Okay. And uh, that's it, viewers. And uh, so, you know, IELTS on the go will not only bring you to Chicago, but we will be, you know, all over the world uh, bringing you the stories of really inspiring students like Nyat here, right? And I guess um, what, we're trying to, what we're trying to say is that uh, you got to you just start doing uh, what will you know, get you closer to your dreams, and you know you don't have to need you don't need to have it all figured out. Right? You just learn as you go. So study hard and build a miracle. I'm Tune Dang. This is Isles on the Go.